The Bad Boys are back for the third installment of the popular buddy cop franchise. Will Smith was spotted on the set of Bad Boys for Life in Atlanta for the second time this week after the flick began filming on Tuesday. The 50-year-old actor is teaming up with co-star Martin Lawrence, 53, to reboot the popular series 25 years after Bad Boys 2. Smith, who is reprising his role of Detective Mike Lowry, was without his partner on Thursday while he shot a restaurant scene. The actor rocked an iridescent color changing purple and blue suit befitting the film's Miami setting. Impeccably tailored, the bold ensemble was paired with a simple black button up shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Between takes, a helpful hair and makeup artist stepped in to make sure the star was looking his best. Fans were thrilled earlier in the week when the first images of Lawrence, 53, and Smith filming for the long awaited were released. DJ Khaled scored a coveted role in the action-packed sequel, Variety reported on Wednesday. The upcoming flick will also welcome stars Vanessa Hudgens and Alexander Ludwig to the cast. The story revolves around a modern, highly specialized police unit that collides with the old-school bad boys, Smith and Lawrence, when a new threat emerges in Miami, the outlet reported. Lawrence sent social media into a tizzy in November when he took to social media with a video and selfie with the Fresh Prince of Bel Air star. Can't wait to hit the ground running. Blessed to be a part of such a great film with my brother, he wrote in the caption. The Martin star has kept fans abreast of the goings on behind the scenes this week as he shared an image of the boys getting some weapons training. He captioned the shot, in Atlanta going over weapons training with the team. Trigger Mike is ready to ride. And, it seems the stars got to take a walk down memory lane together and watch the first two Bad Boys films together. Had the chance to watch Bad Boys 1 and 2 with my boy at Will Smith before we start shooting this week, Lawrence captured an image of the duo posing together. Adding, so many good memories on the screen and so many more to come. The original Bad Boys which helped launch the film careers of TV stars Will Smith and Martin Lawrence in 1995, grossed $141.4 million worldwide on just a $19 million budget. Transformers director Michael Bay helped the successful feature and marked his directorial debut. Bay returned to take the helm on the 2003 sequel Bad Boys 2 which earned $273.4 million worldwide from the much larger $130 million budget. Sony is trying to compete with Disney by bringing back franchises from their vault, with varying degrees of success. While Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle was a huge hit last year with $962 million worldwide, from a $90 million budget. The studio's Ghostbusters reboot took in $221.9 million worldwide, from a $144 million budget. The studio also has reboots of Men in Black and Charlie's Angels in the works, with a 21 Jump Street spin-off with female detectives also in development. It will be a while before fans can enjoy the third installment in the franchise as Bad Boys for Life is slated for release in exactly a year. January 17, 2020